Nearly 100 million Americans have a canine companion at home. And it's no wonder. Owning a dog has been shown to lower blood pressure and cholesterol, reduce the risk of asthma and allergies in kids, and lower stress levels. Now you might think the size of your home should determine the size of your ideal dog, but that's not always true. Turns out, tiny dogs like the Yorkshire Terrier tend to have a big set of pipes with an even bigger attitude. So a lot of small dogs, they're naturally really good alert dogs. They're good little watchdogs, and they're going to bark uh, when they hear people walking down the hall or, you know, talking in the lobby passageways. Not a great attribute if your neighbors live a few feet away. So what should you look for in an apartment-friendly pooch? Dogs sleep about 16, 17 hours a day. And as long as you can provide a dog with the right amount of mental and physical stimulation and exercise, even a big dog can be happy in a small place. For starters, you want a dog who's not a big barker is sociable with new humans and other dogs, and is comfortable with loud noises and crowded streets. Mixed breeds can make an amazing apartment pet, but if you're looking for purebreds, here are the blue ribbon winners for apartment living, according to the American Kennel Club. First up is the Greyhound? That's right, they may be the world's fastest canine, but these guys often spend 16 to 18 hours sleeping every day. Just make sure, in addition to regular exercise, they have the chance to sprint two to three times a week. Next is the Balanca. You may have never heard of it, but these guys were actually bred to be the ultimate apartment pet. They don't need hours of daily exercise. In fact, the American Kennel Club suggests a long walk a few times a week in addition to their daily routine. They're also excellent at learning new tricks, but they do like to alert their owners of goings on in the neighborhood, so it's best to teach them proper barking manners early on. Now, if you had your heart set on a Yorkie, you might want to try a Bavare instead. They were bred from Yorkshire Terriers, but are more mellow and easygoing. They enjoy the outdoors, but will also play catch inside and are easy to teach new tricks. Next up is an especially popular breed among city dwellers, the French Bulldog. Despite its name, this breed actually came from England. A short daily walk is typically sufficient to keep them in shape. They also enjoy canine sports like obedience and agility. But the flat-faced breed often has difficulty breathing. So make sure your Frenchie doesn't overexert itself in hot weather. Last but not least is the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. That flashy title isn't a coincidence. These guys were the breed of choice for 17th century British nobility. They're known for their smarts, are easy to train, and readily adapt to new people and environments. Now it's important to note that breed doesn't guarantee anything. Each individual dog within a breed is gonna have its own temperament and its own personality. A good owner spends time with their dog and figures out what makes their individual dog most happy. And if you're looking for more than just a walk around the block, places like the American Kennel Club offer local activities. One's called Scent Work. It's an event type that just tests your dog's natural ability to use its nose. And we have a whole series of events and competitions where you're just training your dog to find scents that are hidden in different areas. It's fun to do things with your dog. And by spending more time with your dog, your bond increases. Want more options? Here are some other apartment-friendly dog breeds that the AKC recommends.